1950, the site that would become the home of the China Creek Velodrome was a no man's land, an open sewer plaguing a small residential community that abutted a light industrial zone. For years, people had been complaining about the area as a health menace. So when the city announced that they were going to buy the land to establish a park, there was a collective sigh of relief. It's probably why no one batted an eye when they announced plans to build a velodrome to host the track cycling events at the 1954 British Empire Games. At 250 meters in length and a generous 10 meters wide, the track was a sight. Built entirely of yellow cedar, I can only imagine the smell filling the air as the riders whirled around and prepped for the games. Capacity crowds filled the stands and lined Broadway to catch a glimpse of the action each night and for years to come. But despite the fervor, the crowds didn't last, and by 1970 the track was in dire straits. Then, in 1972, a nonprofit society was formed to revitalize and oversee the track. Named Sea Track, the new society was made up of a small group of cyclists and enthusiasts, many of whom had seen and competed on the track back in its prime. Thanks to their efforts, the track was completely reconstructed and carried on until 1980 when the land was sold to establish Vancouver Community College's Broadway campus. Now, all that remain are the memories of those that rode there and a small commemorative plaque. Ride in the moment, ride for the future.